gotta say, I keep forgetting the soundtrack doesn't really appeal to me that much. I never was a big fan of a lot of the songs in this game. They're not bad, but I don't know. I was never really impressed. I think Gen 3's music was pretty good. Although it was sadly one of the best things about Gen 3 as a whole. Well, either way, we have finally made it to the next gym. Return to City Pokemon Gym with Gardenia here. The Pobo beat me here again! Damn it! Further, how's it going, Gym 3? Actually, that's what I said to some boy who zipped in here earlier, too. Gym Leader Gardenia is a use of grass type Pokemon. To be honest, the grass type Pokemon really hit fire. Oh, wait a second. I can tell you about the gym itself first. You can't tell Gym Leader until you find and beat all the gym's trainers who end themselves. It's a bit challenging, but just think of it as a good training and go for it! Ah, I see. That's how it is. At my gym, no one gets to battle with the gym leader. Me! Until they've beaten all the other trainers. I'll be waving in the back. Good luck, challenger! I see. So. Oh, jeez, they made the whole perspective weird. Oh, jeez. So look, and find the other trainers. Well, let's do this. Welcome back, everybody, for Let's Play Pokemon Pearl. This is your host, the MJ-406. I found one. But yep, you can't go up this elevator in this gym unless you find the trainer, so look around. You will see them when you look carefully. How do you know where to find me? Let's have our battle. Just look carefully. You should be able to find them without too much trouble, hopefully. Which I did. I found last Caroline. Cherubi. Oh, shit! I gotta go back to those trees! Oh, crap! I should really think about going back to them. <sighs> Alright, I'll, I'll have to look into that. Oh, uh, for now. Also, I should probably go back. Well, then again, once I get through the stuff of this town, I should be able to get my bike, and then I can actually go explore and find all that crap again. I don't think you want to leave those trees occupied for too long, or else you won't be able to get to them at all. And the Pokemon will be gone, and the honey will be gone. Which sucks. Oh, hi, Roselia. Yeah, by the way, this is the Evolve Orb Badoo. I believe it evolves with High Friendship. Either that or a certain level. I want to say it's High Friendship, though. But yep, Roselia has a preform. It can also evolve in this game into a pretty beast grass type, actually. One of my personal favorites. At least for Gen 4 in particular. Yay! Endeavor! Endeavor's cool. Attack move that cuts down the post HP to equal the user's HP. Basically, the lower your HP is Endeavor. I don't really like to use that move because my HP is usually high. So, yeah. But thanks, I guess? Sure. I was going to be while you were still in a state of shock. I saw you, you know. Okay, the next train is at the end. Has two boulders, I think. And they'll give you hints of the other trainers if you need to find them. It's at the end past two boulders. Oh, there. That's the one you're talking about. I grass they put my dog some serious special attacks. I'm gonna let you win. Easily! Oh, you're gonna make me win hardly? Huh. That's an easy... That's an odd way to put it. Sure, let's go with your Badoo. Oh no, Gardena probably does have a volleyball for this. Oh god, I just realized that. Let's probably make sure it does evolve from high friendship. I'm pretty sure it does. But yup. Grass types! Hopefully you know how to deal with them. And again, as long as you have a bird. I mean the bird. You should be fine. So yeah, it's not that hard to deal with, thankfully. Keep bringing them on. Yep. Okay, that's how it works. You have to level up Badoo with high friendship, like I thought. High friendship. But only during the day it will evolve. So there you go. And the other evolution comes from a, uh, stone. I was about to say, did I just spoil it? I spoiled it a while ago, and I keep talking about it because I love the evolution of Roselia. But yeah. It's got a pretty good evolution, if you ask me. Man, they went all the training in that forest. I'm a freaking beast now. You can't even mess with me anymore. I'm just so much stronger. Because I did all that training. Maybe I should do EXP share for this. More beautiful flower, the faster it withers. 
Are you a beautiful flower? Oh, that's right. I hear about the next trainer. Build three trees. That's my it for my hint. Good luck. All right, cool. In the middle of three trees. Oh, probably somewhere else. And the next trainer's at the end. Past two boulders, I think. Okay, I gave you a hint for like each one, so I should have found that one first, and the other one, I guess, is. Oh, they show up one after the other. Okay, I get it now. Okay. Yeah, you weren't there before. You didn't try to conceal it. You can't hide the aroma of flowers. Man. These women must be a big fan of aromatherapy. I would imagine. But it sounds like it could be fun. I haven't done aromatherapy before. Ooh, turn twig. Cool. I can kill you. Oh. I wonder what this one's name is. Just Turtwig? Oh, come on. You don't want to name it like Leonardo or something? Then again, you're too weak to be Leonardo. Get out of here, Mikey. That's probably what you are, weak-ass Mikey. Or maybe you Donatello. Ow! All right, fine, I'm sorry. I won't talk about it anymore. That's how you're gonna be to screw you, sir. Damn Turtwig, all I wanted to do was have some fun. You had to be a dick. Screw you two! There we go, level up. I'll use the XP share if somebody's really far behind. It's like you're in a million can your abundant skill. Yeah, you can't hide that at all. This one is beside four flowers. Four flowers, huh? Okay, so you do have to do it in a certain order. Alright. Huh? Ah, oh, there you are. You're hidden away pretty well, miss. <laughs> you found me! Of course I'll value you! Man, they're everywhere! How many of you women are there? Oh, she might be the last one. Once I beat her, I think that's when uh, Gardenia will come down or whatever. So I'm just finding these trainers one by one, taking them out, and then you can battle the gym leader. The gym's puzzle. This, this game doesn't have a very exciting gym puzzle. So then again, we've only been in the first two. First one, you can choose to ignore trainers entirely, which might be a first. And the second, and this one, well, you literally just, you battle everybody to build up. It has made you go through a maze to annoy you to do more work. Oh, boo, look, you beat me. Damn right I have, happy to beat your ass. <laughs> so our gym leader left, go on, don't be afraid. I'm very, very afraid. Yeah, I'm very afraid of your freaking grass type gym leader when I have multiple things I can deal with it, probably. How about you on your platform make you feel insignificant? You kept me waiting! I'm a Eternus Gym Leader, Gardenia, the Grass-type Master. When I first saw you, I was convinced you'd find your way to me. My answer is right on the money! You have a winning aura about you. So anyway, this will be fun! Let's have our battle! Gym Leader number two! The sassy-looking, Grass-type Gym Leader, Gardenia. Let's do this. Start with a friggin' Cherubi, really? You're start with that weak-ass piece of crap? Oh man, my levels barely match up to you too. That's upsetting. Ooh. At least I can, at least I can fairly have its final evolution for a freaking Badoo. So that's gonna be very upsetting when I have to put up with that. I'll just keep using you, flap you to buff you up, get you stronger so you can fight off the end of this a lot better. I'll make sure not to use you after a while once this gym's over. Another Turtwig, huh? I wonder, how strong are you? Ah, that's Donatello. I recognize it now. That means there's only one left. Unfortunately, you won't be meeting Raphael today. He's tired of you anyway. Well, here we go. Our prime Pokemon. Here's your evolution for Roselia. Would you need a new stone called a shiny stone to evolve? It's Rose Raid. Her special tag is pretty high. It's not the end yet. Her special tag is pretty friggin' high. Now, like with most stone evolutions, can't really learn many more moves after you evolve it, but... Oh, boy! Rose Raid is a pretty decent force to be reckoned with. So, yep. Hopefully I got good flying or fire-type moves to take this thing down. Penguin's defenses are low, so that could probably help me a bit. Ooh, you would use the citrus berry. Are you saying something? You think you have me cornered? 
Oh, yeah. You don't stand a chance. Poison snake's all you have. As long as you don't use something that's weak to grass, you'll be okay. That's when you'll have trouble. Although, this is probably easier than the first gym, honestly. Because... You have plenty of Pokemon by this point that can fight off that friggin' Rose Braid. Still, that thing is tough. So hopefully you do not have Pokemon that are weak to grass or normal against grass, because she will make you pay. Amazing. You're very good, aren't you? Damn right I am. Finally, someone recognized. A lot of people have been recognizing that lately. I might have said it before, but you're really tough. Was it hard for you to raise your Pokemon to be so good? Yeah. I guess that's a measure of how much you love your Pokemon. In recognition of that, I proudly grant you this. The Forest Bird! Yes! Now I can cut everything! With the Forest Badge, your Pokemon can use the hidden move Cut outside of battle. Now you have two gym badges, all Pokemon you receive in trades will obey you up to level 30. I've also got something else. It's a gift from me. Ooh, TM86. Why would it be ironic to be Poison Sting? TM86 contains the move Grass Knot. It's one of my favorite moves. The heavier the foe, the more damage this move will cause. Huh. Yep, if there's one thing I can tell you about you, it's this. You and your Pokemon are getting even tougher. And I mean seriously. Uh, thanks. In that case, I will leave you alone. That was easy. Why am I not alone in there? Oh, Freebird, you feel the gym leader. Your Pokemon look much tougher than what when they went in, too. At least that's how I see it. My story radio swept everybody. The Popo's still beating the free man down. Damn it. Don't worry, free man. Soon you'll be able to express yourself without too much trouble. Oh, uh, now I have the grass star. I just realized some of the freaking Pokemon later on are going to be a pain in the ass. Also, how the hell do I get to that ball? Ah, hidden path. Super Potion, I love you! Come. Now that I can cut things, let's go to that Team Galactic building. I want to get my bike pulled before this episode ends if I can help it. So, now I got cut. Let's go in, Bidoof. Thank you for doing the work for me to make it easier for me to walk in here. I feel right at home. So this is the Team Galactic building, is it? Nice. I can't wait to ruin their plans. Kind of putting an end to them once and for all. As if you think it'll be that easy. I did. You have a lot of learning to do. Thief! You can steal items! It's like pluck, except for items instead of berries. It can be useful. It's not super strong, but it can be useful. All right, then. Here we are. Team Black is interested in the world. Our gaze is beyond the stars. Oh, wow. Really high and mighty, are you? A picture I can't read. Child will look books and photo collections. Okay, cool. Well, Team Galactic, are you here to donate your Pokemon? What? You're not? Then kindly get off our property. Do we have to break the pain like we did in the cycle shop manager? Maybe. Excuse me, sir and madam. I'd like to get through, please. We are gathering Pokemon for an astonishing undertaking. Your meddling won't be tolerated. Oh, crap. I walked in a bad situation. Sorry, dearie. Team Galactic doesn't accept children as members. Really? Are you sure about that? So I honestly think you would if you took the time to really consider how strong we could be. All right, two galactic grunts. Wormple and Zubat. Oh no, I'm so sorry. I'm gonna realize this would be bad for you. Throttle, oh man. You need to swap out. Let's get Snarf in there. As you, Weasel. Well, just deal with one of them for now. Oh, I should have had you deal with Wurmple. Oh, well. It's you, Snarf, Snarf. It's really annoying that I had to deal with this because of freaking all these bug and poison types. I was thinking about that. I was like, Rattle's gonna have a really rough time, isn't he? But whatever. I'll make two. Oh no, Leech Light! How dare you sap his beautiful mane! You bitch! Well, we're both. Ow! Why'd you hit me? What'd I do where you had to hit me? I did not hit her! That's bullshit! I did not hit her! I did not. 
Fuck you, I didn't hit her. I don't think he's shooting water out of his tail. That'd be cool if he actually did that, though. He doesn't, though. Most water Pokemon shoot out internally. It's kind of... Yeah. Eat shit! I hope that kills you. Yeah, there we go. Luxio probably is the strongest attack of all my Pokemon right now. Snarf. Hopefully he really wipes the floor with everybody. Cascoon! Eh, really tough against Grass Pokemon, I hate it. And Glamiao. At least you didn't evolve yours 22 levels early, you bitch! Man. And I thought the freaking... Ugh. I thought the one at... Fr in freaking Gen 1 and the Magnemite, like, 19 levels early was bad. That Perugly being so early is such bullshit. Which, by the way, I should mention, Glamiao is also a, uh, version exclusive for Pearl. So weird, I've only seen, I haven't seen any Pokemon that are exclusive to Diamond yet. Which I definitely find strange. But we'll worry about it later. All oh, right, you Swift, I'm an idiot! Why do I keep not doing that? Well, it didn't matter. Glad me I was dead. Good job there, lifeguard. Now, take care of that freaking Cascoon. We don't need this freaking wannabe bug in our way. Want to be, but that's not his fault. That's all he knows. Tackling and such. So, you be a lucky punk. Well, guess what? This is an automatic hit, so you're dead. Oh, yes! Your death is sweet, my stupid little cascoon. Damn, you guys won't evolve because you're basically battling together. Ugh. I feel like you got meddled with. You certainly did. But, dear, you're just a kid! Yeah, but I'm better than you! You wanted to go up? Well, why didn't you? <laughs> Our astonishing undertaking is most certainly breathtaking. If you ever hope to see its glorious unveiling, then don't meddle with us! I'll do all the meddling I want to, asshole! You can't stop me! Oh my god, there's a lot of them here doing whatever. Our objectives are incredible, too incredible for me to understand. I'll fight blindly to defend them, and your intrusion won't be forgiven. Yeah, sure. I wonder if I have to, like, hack a computer or something. Wow, Pokemon Trainer going to computer hacking. That just sounds like ultimate sellout territory. Whatever that means. Oh, I can't use Grottle here. It's so frustrating. He's not useful against these guys, because Grass is all he has at Tackle. Alright. After this battle, I gotta remember to swap him out. I'll have him battle other trainers on the route after we get done with this. We're gonna have them go after those wild Pokemon that they have where the trees are. I do want to check those out at some point. I might not be able to, because he's freaking... Ugh, I'm gonna be stuck here for a while. Yep, switching! Alright, Snarf, you know what to do. Go do your work. Let Raphael rest. His rage isn't quite there yet. He's not angry enough to deal with all these. I could give him Rock Tomb, but... Mm, I don't know. It doesn't feel worth it. Although, what's up flying Pokemon, honestly? Which is actually a neat idea. Because... He's going to get a move that can deal with Fire. Oh, Rock can do that, too, actually. Mm, tempting, tempting. I'm going to research his moves again to see if I want to give him Rock Tomb. Is he fighting for again? What am I fighting for? Shut up! What do you have against taking Pokemon Brothers? Look at the eight field of force! Those things are exactly rare! Wow, dude. I mean, they have personal attachments to these things, like... You can't just constantly ignore how much they care for these creatures, dick. Team Lang's working hard to find new energy sources for the future. Let's see how good this Pokemon is! I stole over some weak trainer! Then... You realize the counter that argument, right? If you're taking another but weak Pokemon, how are you gonna be able to do anything for your cause if you have nothing strong to show for it? It was a Silcoon! You could have at least taken something useful. You took a Silcoon. Seriously, you could definitely do better for yourself than that. 
I'm disgusted with you. Very, very disappointed. And yet you still bash me like I'm one of your freaking exes. Screw you, then! Whatever the hell that meant. Don't worry about it. Just get out of the way. Can't believe you actually had Tackle. The trainer wasn't that weak. I actually gave Tackle to a Silcoon. What is this? It's a Pokemon battle. I won. Maybe a little Pokemon. When I get promoted, I'll demand better stolen Pokemon. Uh... I don't think she gets it. And again, most of them don't. We are conducting research on new forms of energy. We are to harness the mysterious power of Pokemon using its energy. Using Pokemon's power as energy, huh? Interesting idea. But I don't know how much you can actually do with that, you know? Right? Why, thank you! We love when people come to us to donate their Pokemon! How about you donate yours to the Pokemon Center? Because you're gonna, you're gonna need to once I'm done with you. Jeez. I'm gonna beat him to death. Then again, you deserve it, if it's your own. Oh my god. And again, they're stolen! Don't you think they would have mind of their own to not obey? And again, I guess Pokemon are very mindless. God, Pokemon are like high-minded. They only do what people tell them. Whether it's their owner or not, apparently. The way this game's phrasing it. Jeez. So much for loyalty. Like, whoever has my ball, that is who I obey. But I had you for ten years! Obey the one at the ball. I didn't do an official trade! Obey the one at the ball. That's not fair! That's not how it works! We're gonna kidnap you to the Pokemon Center and force a trade on you. Ha 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 ha! I guess it's the only way you can make it legitimately work. It sounds like a lot more effort than it's worth. Hmm. Well, I won't question their methods if it works. I was gonna put a stop to him instead. That'll do more than enough for me. Now, if you don't mind, I want you gone. Feel the stars. Raining down all over you. Ah, crap. Stop hitting me with astonish! I'm not scared, man. I'm just annoyed. So move! I don't need to be all these Zubats, these Wurples. I just want to move on, do something more exciting for a change. Yes! Level 19! You're getting closer to that level up you need for evolving. What do you think you're doing? Taking care of Team Galactic, the only way I know how. You can catch Pokemon anywhere. What's so special about them? Trains that lose there should quit wanting and catch some more. Man. You guys really have a wi freaking winner-take-all philosophy. You snooze, you lose. Ordinary people like you can't understand Team Galactic's grand designs. I don't think of it. I don't even know what's going on. I just got here yesterday. Uh-oh. No. Our missions in our operations out question. It's all with the new world order that our boss will lead. Damn it, the researchers here too. Why are you all so twisted? Freaking scientists. Oh dear! Well, that could have been dangerous. That could have been. Fucking damn a psychic type. There's no way of anything to deal with a psychic type. <laughs> Confusion. Ack. Please don't confuse, Snarf, please. Ow! Fight. Wait, you have a dark type move? No! Ha 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 ha! Ow! That stung! Damn confusion. By the way, double that. Yikes! I was expecting an electric type, but you know what? Psychic type actually makes sense now I think about it. This won't go unpunished! Because they can do research with weird things like that too. What brand are you aiming to be promoted? One day and soon, you will learn the truth by Team Galactic. Yeah, I'm sure I will. I just not believe before I finish. Before I finish what I'm saying. Hmm. Am I interrupting something here? He's supposed to be his Pokemon. Hello, everybody. What is with this Team Galactic? Where are they take our Pokemon? What are they trying to accomplish? Hello, madam. Eh? Did you want something? How silly me to even ask. You want to free the Pokemon. Yeah, that's gonna happen. Uh-oh. Well, here we go. Another Team Galactic Commander. It's Commander Jupiter. 
Yep, they're based off Sailor Moon characters. God damn it, just understand what it actually is! And you're not as tough as the gym leader was, so this should be easy. I swear to God, you better not have a Perugly as well. I'm gonna be pissed. At least you're close to getting a Zubat to a Golbat, so I can understand a Golbat. But if you have another Perugly at level, like, 19, I'm gonna be pissed. That means you guys are all using sloppy seconds of these Pokemon, which is just dumb. Scum tank. Oh. I don't know what I want to do with this one. I want to say it's poison and dark. Well, just make sure we survive. Go, Flap you. Well, here's the evolved form of the, uh, Diamond exclusive Pokemon. It's a skunk. Which I think also evolved early. Well, I may as well mention it now, just so we have it. So, here are the places you can find its pre evolved form, Stunky. Now, let me use Wing Attack. So, yeah. It used Screech. Well, screw you then. Yup. There's a Pokemon called Stunky that evolves into this Skunk Tank at level 34. So you cheated. How insolent. Take a bite of this, child. I don't want to take a bite of the child. That's ridiculous. Oh, no. It lost keen eye. I just realized. Shit. That was useful. Oh, well. I'll try to kill you. Yeah, it's poison and dark. I was right. Some of you evolved at 14 early. Not quite as bad as the Perugly, but still evolved early. And it's more than just a normal type. So... Oh, jeez, Night Slash! That's a pretty decent move, I remember. Jeez! Well, then he had screeched me, so it's got a lot of strength to spare. A lot of pain to dish out. How about this? Oh, no! Flap use attack missed! No! Staravia! Flap you! Flap you! Well. Go, lifeguard! I only got four strong Pokemon, and I do not want to send Grottle out, or he will get messed up bad. Oh no, poison gas will automatically poison him. No! Life Guard! How dare you do that to her? You're so mean. No, the poisoning! That dude, Night Slash is probably gonna die! Well. Yeah. Gotta try to get that in before it potentially kills Lifeguard. Well, you chose not to kill me. That was your mistake. I, am I? I'm not faster than that, am I? Well, let me try. Okay, I am faster. I should've just done this to begin with, then. I did quick attack out of fear. There we go. I also hate that it's friggin' cries at farting, basically. It has really bad gas. Well, it is a skunk. Still, who is this up, child? Being careless cost me too much. Yeah, you only had two Pokemon. That skunk was a pain in the ass. Well, aren't you tough? It's okay, though. Our official Pokemon statue investigation is finished. Mars has collected energy from the Valley Windworks. We're pretty much finished here. I'll let you in on one little thing. Our boss is researching the myths of ancient Pokemon. With the power of mythical Pokemon, he will become the ruler of Sinnoh. I suggest you keep out of Team Galactic's affairs from now on. This is your last warning. Jeez. They got the Clefairy package all thanks to you. But that Team Galactic, they said Clefairy came from space. Hand it over. Their logic babbles me still. It's like they are from space. Anyway, they're gone now. Thank you very much. Can't thank you enough right now, but Chris, by my cycle shop, okay? That's good. Aggie! A nice visual effect for the poisoning. Look like less steps you get poisoned too. I'm trying to save you, please. I'll do my best. Oh, boy. I might not make it. Can I get to my Pokemon Center real quick and restore this thing so it doesn't die? <sighs> Come on. It's gonna die, isn't it? How close was I to it dying? Oh, okay. It has more HP than I remembered. Oh, boy. Well, good news! We can probably get our bike next time. 
And we got our second gym badge, so we are good. All right, with that, I'm gonna put that away, and we are in good shape. Now, Raphael, lead the charge. You need leveling up, because I like my starter to be at a high level compared to everybody else. Just, just for the sake of it. All right, well, that was good. Made up for the lack of progress last time. So, care of Team Galactic, but their leader's off somewhere else. I wonder where he could be. Come back next time. We are going to... Huh. I guess get a bike, and then... I'm probably going to backtrack to those trees, at least. And then maybe we'll continue on from there, because, well... If we look at the map we have... Well... There's my map. Really, all we can do is go forward. Either that way or this way. Uh, maybe I have to go down there. I don't know. By the way... Oh, there's also a lake up there. Jeez. By the way, we're gonna get our bike, and we'll figure out where to go from there. I'll probably backtrack at the trees, see if Pokemon showed up. If not, then I would have really wasted my time. Let's find out next time!